Hey you guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for being here. Today is day two of our second fast of 2020. Hopefully you guys are doing well. I am, um, I'm hanging in there. I can't say that I'm perfect because I had a couple of things that happened today, which I'm going to tell you in just a minute. Really quick, I wanted to give a shout out. If you guys are in AHA, which is a healthy alternative, um, first of all, hello to those family members in there. We are a community, uh, not only on YouTube, but also on Facebook. So if you guys haven't heard of it, or if you haven't joined yet, you guys definitely should if you're interested in the fasting aspect and more healthy alternative lifestyles and eating, different, e different eating styles. There are many different ones in there. It's a really, really great, encouraging community. Um, so if you guys are in there or if you're thinking of it, take a look at Michael Rucker. Um, he is a gem of a man and I, I, I love him to death. Um, he posts every single day when he does his fasts and it's always with some kind of motivation or inspiration and he always tags you in it. And so, um, I'm one of the people that he tags and he's like a big brother. And so you don't want to disappoint him. But if you're not fasting or if you've fallen off or anything, he always, always, always offers encouraging words and motivation to get you back on, you know, the fasting train. And um, he never makes you feel bad about it, which is awesome. But I wanted to give him a shout out because yesterday, hopefully you guys saw my video from yesterday. It's about taking one step forward and then two steps back. And it's this vicious cycle of starting the diet, restricting yourself, feeling deprived, um, you start craving things, you give in, and then you feel guilty, and then the whole thing starts all over again. And so I posted this video yesterday, and um, he, I really, I wanted to read his quote, what he posted on, on my video really quick. Um, You're not the only one. I think the first go around for weight loss is amazing. Then as you find out, it will all come back if we're not careful. Which, like him, we have done fast multiple times throughout all last year. We've both lost, we have both lost significant amounts of weight and then gone off and then gone back on and, and everything. So, um, this year I'm determined to lose more weight and keep it off. I remember Stephen Michael, um, saying in his YouTube video that he lost, celebrated, and then had to lose again. So don't be too hard on yourself. Reset, refocus, re-strategize. You and I know what water, that water fasting works. So stay encouraged. So I just want to give him a quick shout out because that was an awesome, awesome thing to um, remind me of that this journey, this entire journey is going to be a cycle, whether it is the same one that I just said where you do the deprivation and you restrict and you crave and then you give in and then you, whether it's going to be that cycle or if it's you do really, really well and then you celebrate and you have to kind of relose a little bit and whether it's five pounds or 50 pounds I've seen people who have lost you know gobs and gobs of weight and then they've just gained it all and they have to do it over again unfortunately I feel like for a majority of us out there trying to lose weight it's going to be a cycle and it's going to be where we lose weight and then we gain a little bit and then we have to relose. But as long as you keep going forward, you guys, it should be just fine. And we will eventually reach our goal weight. Um, like he said, we just have to reset, refocus and re-strategize. I love that quote. So thank you, Michael, if you're watching this. Um, so into this part of the video, I want to do it really quickly because it's a little bit TMI, but, and especially if you're a guy, so if you're a guy, you can click off now if you want to. Um, but I, I really want to share this with you because it, it's kind of important and it kind of goes into refeeding and what we eat versus what we don't eat and how we treat our body and what we put into our body. So as a girl, obviously we have our monthly cycles. When I was doing strict keto for the last year, I had a 365 day keto challenge going on. So when I was not fasting, I was on keto completely for 12 months. My cycle was spot on every single time. It was predictable, right? So as you guys remember at the beginning of the year, I started reintroducing regular carbs, breads, pasta, chips, 
um, pretty much eating whatever I wanted. Um, and the, the issue with that is not only the regain, which I have regained over 20 pounds, um, but it's also very addictive. I have actually started noticing that, and I think I've mentioned it before. When I first introduced, say, just Subway or Doritos or something, it didn't taste good. I did not like it. Now that I have reintroduced more carbs into it, it's starting to taste good again. And so that's where it becomes a problem, and you can really see that this food is addictive. And even if we, if we stay away from it for a long time, we can literally reprogram our bodies to not even want it. But if we stay on the track of eating it all the time, it's going to start tasting good to us again. So, um, yeah, that, that was really interesting. But it also messes with our monthly cycle as a female. And that's something that we don't want. And so this month, my, my first cycle, which was not, it, it was planned, but it ended up being a week late. I only had it for like four days. And then I had about a week and a half off and I just started again today. So my cycle is now completely out of whack, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, yeah, pretty interesting. And it really sucks because um, today I ended up getting these lightning pain, these lightning pains in my stomach. And I really thought it was because I didn't go to the bathroom. Um, which, by the way, it's perfectly normal if you don't um, go to the bathroom every day while you're fasting. I know a lot of people have concerns about that. Just um, as a little sidebar before I go. Nothing going in, so nothing to push anything out. Um, there are times that I can go two weeks without going um, more than one or two times. So, perfectly normal, you guys. Anyway, um, this is what I am left feeling. Um, of course, being a girl and being on that, t that time of the month, you want chocolate, you want cravings, or everything that you're craving, you want comfort food. And so, I'm still coming off of that carbo-loading. I had those cravings anyway. Um, it's about 10 times worse than when I was just doing keto because I didn't, when I was on keto, I didn't crave any chips or pastas or breads or anything now that's all I want and that's also another problem with reintroducing bad simple carbs um but I went ahead and I took a nap because damn it I'm determined <laughs> and I got up and I made some coffee and so I'm literally just drinking some coffee and doing this video I have a little bit of work to do and then I'm going to go make my husband's lunch and I'm going to probably take a shower and go to bed. And that's all you can really do when you are fasting if you don't want to give in to the cravings. Occupying your mind with something else. Um, pray if that's what you're into. Watch spiritual videos. Some people even watch mukbangs because it's kind of like vicariously living through those people. I am definitely one of those people. I enjoy watching people eat food because I can almost taste what they're eating. I know it's really weird, but um, it works for me. So... Anyway, find your groove, and like Michael said, don't be hard on yourself. Reset, refocus, and re-strategize, and there's nothing wrong with that. So hopefully, hopefully you guys are doing really well on your fast or your health journey, whatever it may be. Um, I am always here, so if you ever need um, encouragement or motivation, I'm really good at motivating other people. Just kicking my own butt is kind of hard for me to do sometimes, so that's what I turn to you guys for. All right, guys, I will check in tomorrow, Wednesday, um, for day three. I have the option of an OMAD meal on Wednesdays. I don't want to go there, but I will keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.